Okay, hello everybody. My name is Awanud Naga and I will talk today in the, an important subject. Question. The thought of anatomism fights me and I resist it and it returns with many doubts about the existence of God. Please help me confirm my faith for fear that doubts may be possible. Okay. Okay. First of all, my dear, you should know that it's a famous war of the devil. And these thoughts that are fighting you aren't from you. Otherwise, you would not be res resisting them as you as. But the devil is stubborn. Yeah, it's stubborn. Doesn't despair or rest. Whenever a person responds to one of his thoughts, he returns again, presses and insists. That's why St. Peter the Apostle says, resist him firmly in the faith. Peter the Apostle 5. Nine. Nevertheless, the existence of God has many evidence. Perhaps in the forefront is what philosophers or thinkers call the first cause. For example, the first cause, that is God, is the first reason for the existence of this entire universe. Without God, we can't explain how the universe existed. We bought before us several things that can only be explained by the existence of God. It's the existence of life, the existence of matter, the existence of man, and the existence of order in all aspects of nat nature. This is all added the general belief. Let's start now with the basic point of which is the existence of life. The existence of life is our question is how did life exist on Earth? It's known that a time passed, as scientists say, when the Earth was part of the solar system in a degree of bleeding heat that could allow any kind of life to exist, neither human, animal, nor plant. Okay, where did life come from then? How created? How? Here atheists and scientists stand silently, baffled by the existence of the life of higher beings, such as a human being, but even the life of a small ant, or animal, or an animal, or any insect that runs on the ground. The mere existence of one of these insects proves the existence of God. It is just a living cell, whatever it is. The mere presence of plasm, proving the existence of God, because it has no other explanation. Life, as long as the air was precisely a flaming piece, that's that doesn't allow the existence of life. Life then, after the air's crust cooled, as for the burning interior of the air from which the volcanoes and Mountains emerge, there can be no life in it. So, how did life find life on Earth after its shell cooled? It is natural that inanimate matter in which there is no life can't exist because a thing lost doesn't give it. The existence of life remains mystery to which scientists can't find a solution. His only solution is the power of God, the creator who created life. Okay? If there is another explanation, let it present it to us, atheists or their scientists. This is because a living organism must come from a living being. Whatever fictional assumption scientists make, they remain just assumptions that do not rise to the scientific level. After life, we are talking about another proof, which is the existence of matter, presence of the substance, and by it we mean the existence of this inanimate nature and all substance, the substance in it. We can say that matter has created itself. The expression is illogical, as how does it, does it exist when it does 
not exist. How can they be able to exist before they exist? So this assumption is impossible. Then there is nothing left but but that there are those who created it, who is but God. We can say that it was found by chance, as some claim. There are no creatures by chance. The word coincidence is an unscientific and illogical word and needs to be defined. So what is coincidence then? What is its capabilities? Is coincidence an entity that has propelled including creation? We also can't say that it is eternal or nature or nature is eternal. It is impossible for the matter to be in eternal because eternity indicates strengths while matter was weakness. It transforms from one state to another and changes from one state one state to another water turns steam and it may freeze into snow wood may burn and, and turn into charcoal and it may turn into smoke and dissipate in the atmosphere so many materials are also composites a compound is a union of two elements or elements and it can dissolve and return to its first elements. So nature is variable and change doesn't indicate strengths. It can't be a source for creation and other substance. Although nature is rigid without a mind or thinking and thus it can't be a source of creation. Finally, thank you for watching me. Uh, see you in the second part of this video and I hope you understand me. Good night.